Alright guys, and welcome to a brand new season on this Be A Pro Career Mode. And yes, as you know, I am with Blackburn Rovers. I'm playing as a goalkeeper, and I have to say, it's a bit of a laugh, to be honest. And yeah, I'm just going to run through the like achievements, which also shows how good I am stats-wise. So yeah, um, I'm, not, I'm just going to talk over this, and I'm going to talk to you about the brand new series that I was on about in the vlog, if you watched it. And basically, it's it, like I said, it involves you, um, and it involves me. And yeah, I think it's going to be a decent idea. Basically, Basically, you know these Premier League fantasy football teams that they do, like I think the Sun do them, and you know loads of websites get get people involved in. Like basically, you create a team, you've got to earn points, you have so much money, you get transfers and everything. And you know, it's, it, depending on how good the players play, then that is, you know, how much money, um, how much points you actually get, and you know you can create fa private leagues and everything like that. So yeah, basically that is exactly what I want to do with you guys, and I'm hoping that you can get into it. So yeah, I will talk to you more about it maybe in about a week or two, and you know I'll say how to sign up and what website we're using and what league we're using, and we'll get them all involved and everything like that. So yeah, hopefully that'll be pretty cool, and I hope there is a lot of interest in that. Cause it could be a really good thing that we could we can update, do videos on it, update. Um, every week for those who aren't actually you know involved but still want to see how it's going and then you know anybody can join at any time and everything like that so yeah they were my three friendly results i think i won one of them which was against social and then lost the other two which was against milan and napoli i think be, maybe both 2-1 or 1-0 or something like that so yeah didn't play them um, I do not like playing friendlies when I'm a bit pro goalkeeper so yeah um, I'm going to kick off now with the first league game of the season which is against West Ham and we almost took the lead in the 13th minute but the shot went past the post and then they took the lead in the 25th minute John Carew putting the ball into the back of the net and yeah I really could have done better. I've got the uh, if you're interested I've got the controls on semi-assisted so like um It'll help me a little bit, but it won't help me. Like like if you have it unassisted, you could dive completely the opposite way, and it would still dive the correct way and try and pro more than likely save the ball. So yeah, I didn't really want that because that kind of takes away the whole object of being a being a keeper. But I needed that little bit of help to actually you know make one or two saves. But as you can see, some very poor defending gave them a two 0 lead, and then we got the ball into the back of the net. But it was given um, it wasn't given due to a foul. But when we got the ball into the back of the net in the 68th minute, it did actually count. It was a great finish by David Dunn, and yeah, we tried to crack on from there. Really, I mean, we got the goal, and okay, it had a bit of a shaky start on my Premier League debut, and unfortunately, we couldn't crack on. And yeah, we did end up losing the game two one to West Ham United, which was quite frustrating. Um, especially seen as I, I was probably to blame for the, for both of the goals. I could have really saved them. And I got a 5.5 rating, which I think is very, very fair. I mean, I, I could have done much better, but I didn't. So, yeah, we dominated the game. They had three shots on target, so I must have made a save, which or, or maybe it was blocked. I'm not really sure. And we could have done better attackingly as well. So it wasn't the great start, um, great start to the season that I, we actually wanted. So we'll have to move on from that and move on to the game against Blackpool. And as you can see, eight minutes in, we were through on goal, I think it's at the Calm Margo or something like that, and yeah, he just did not decide to shoot, I was like, are you joking me, didn't really matter though, because we managed to get forward, and in the 37th minute, after some lovely play, Morton Gamps Pedersen whipped the ball into the box, and David Goodwilly was there to head it into the back of the net for 1-0, and I was like, oh, get in, and then we cracked on in the second half, started attacking our own fans, and we just got forward. And um, some beautiful play, put Vucevic, no, David Goodwillie, he's got David Goodwillie back in, and he fired it into the back of the net. If you're interested in how I've done the zoom thing, um, you just press your back button on either the PS. Uh, PS3 or, or Xbox 360 I think um, and it literally just you know just zooms into the play so yeah I made a save finally it was it was a decent diving save I managed to catch it well and yeah I managed to keep a clean sheet the weird thing I do not get about this game though is I kept a clean sheet against Blackpool I had two saves I made two saves right and um, kept a clean sheet and like I said we won the game and I got a rating of 5.6 I didn't get it. I mean, passes completed. Seven out of eight passes were completed. Dribbles completed. There were four out of four dribbles completed. And then, like I said, I had two saves made. And you will see in a second that they had two shots on target. I mean, why did I get a 5.6 rating? Surely I should have got a better rating. But, yeah, there were times when I was just stood, just watching our team attack. And my rating was going down. And I was like, well, what can I possibly do about this? So that made no sense whatsoever. And I was like, okay, I'll just crack on with it. I'll just get on with it. And yeah, um, we're going to the game against West Bromwich Albion now, which is the last game of August, which will mean I will show you the squad report after this so that if we've made any transfers, they will all be there. And yeah, they started off um, in the 15th minute by getting a goal. Me again, probably 
you know, really late reactions. Could have saved it, should have saved it, but didn't save it. And as you can see, we're both playing in our uh, our away kits. That's because I was a bit confused when I was looking. I was like, right, okay, our home kit's quite similar to the uh, to the away kit and home. And I was like, yeah, I'll just stick them stick us both in away kit. I'll be able to tell the difference. And so yeah, that was quite frustrating that they managed to get a goal. And then it was even more frustrating that they got a penalty. Scott Dan kind of bundled his man over. And yeah, fair enough, it was a penalty. I'm not going to complain about that. So I was like, ooh, I've got a chance now to, you know, make myself a bit of a hero. So I started dancing on the line, seeing what I could do. And I, obviously I didn't save it. I tried to, I don't know what I was doing there. If you, if you just rewind rewind back and after the ball goes into the back of the net, I, I seem to make another dive and save. It's like, what am I doing? What an idiot. So yeah, um, we managed to get back into the game with this uh, with the goal in the second half. Simon Vukovic, uh, he managed to play it. It was a pretty decent finish actually when you see. I mean, he, he had a defender. He managed to get past his defender and then he placed it into the far corner. So yeah, pretty decent goal. And we almost, almost got back into it in the 82nd minute. We played it nicely around into the box, got it there and somehow missed what seemed to be a glorious opportunity. He just hit the post, fell into the arms of my heel and the game finished. Blackburn won, West Brom, it shall be in to. So yeah, usually this is where I'd be like, and that is the last game of the episode, but it's not, because one or two of you guys were calling for longer episodes, so as you can see, it is over the 10 minute mark, and I have managed to squeeze in four games this time, I don't know where all this time has come from um, to actually record, uh, but it just has, and I've been so lucky to do it, and my PVR's been working a boss recently, so yeah, it's all good in the hood, and as you can see, I conceded two goals, we lost the game, they had two shots on target, I made one save, I was pretty poor, and I managed to get a rating of 6 point something. What is going on, FIFA? I keep a clean sheet, we win the game, 5.6. I, I concede two goals, which really I should have done better with. And, I you know, I don't have a good game at all. And I somehow get a rating of six point something. Oh, crazy stuff. But, yeah, um, anyway, just another thing I need to mention is I have got an apprenticeship. Um, it's very... It's an average apprenticeship, basically working in a shopping centre. So yeah, um, I'll keep you updated with that, and I need to know. I don't know when I'm starting yet, so um, the uploads may slow down a little bit. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping I, I'm hoping I can get daily uploads out, but they might not be like ten minutes long like this. So I do apologise for that, guys. But you you know totally understand that. Obviously, at the minute I'm free every single day, and I can record quite a lot. Whereas obviously when you've got a job, basically you can't record that much. So yeah, um, that's pretty decent news, and I'm glad to you know be able. To tell you that because obviously it means I can now crack on with everything and hopefully you know start to I don't I don't really know what I was going to say then I was but yeah but I was basically going to say start to enjoy it but I, I'm already enjoying doing these videos for you guys so yeah move on to the fourth and final game of this episode which is a league cup game against Chelsea and yeah I was like okay this isn't going to go well especially when you look at their starting lineup like Raul Morales who scored there Daniel Sturridge Didier Drogba Equal Vezzi and I was like, oh, crap. So, yeah, again, I will hold my hands up, and I'm probably going to be saying this all the way throughout the series. I should have done better in, in goal. My reactions just aren't brilliant yet. Yeah, and if you do have any tips on how to be a goalkeeper, it would be amazing because, quite simply, I am I am struggling to, to even, you know, make one or two saves. But I managed to get the ball into the back of the net. It was a shame it was offside. And then I made a save, finally. It was straight at me, so I can't really say much. But, yeah. I made another save in this game, and I was like, oh, okay, get in, I'm, I'm on a bit of a roll. But yeah, Chelsea were dominating, as, and as you can see there, I made a save, but I palmed it into the back of the net, so I was like, damn it, damn you. I mean, what? That is that is just, it's not even lucky, that's just crap, to say the least. So we went into half-time, 2-0 down, and I was like, mm, yeah, not going exactly as planned. But we came out and we tried to make a meal of it. We didn't really make any meal of it, to be honest. But I pulled off a decent save and managed to get an achievement unlocked. So, yeah, I think that basically means make a diving save. And it's ridiculous how it's taken me until the fourth game to actually make a diving save. But there you go. Even putting the replay just, just to you know, just to show how good it was. But, yeah, then I made a complete cock up for the third goal. As you can see, I just kind of ran away from the ball. And then realised that he'd passed it. I was like, damn it. That was idiotic. I mean, I don't even know what I was doing. I, was, I think I was just trying to, yeah. Oh, I don't know, guys. It's just hard being a goalkeeper. It's, it's, it's fun to a certain degree. But it's hard. And yeah, we did lose that game 3-0. So we are out of the League Cup. But it was Chelsea, so you can't really blame us. And amazingly, I got a 6 six rating so yeah again how I got a better rating than the game against Blackpool I will never know and as you can see they did absolutely dominate us five shots on target ten shots in total we didn't have a single shot on target we had three um, shots in total but yeah um, it says I think you have the potential to be a key player for this team I will keep you in the starting 11 but you better get your act together if you want to increase your status with the club which basically means you're playing crap 
So book up your ideas or else you could easily be sacked, you know, cancel contract and all that. So yeah, not a great start to the season, got to admit, but I am loving it. Like I have said, I, d I don't know why, because we are conceding goal after goal and I'm the goalkeeper. But there you go, that that happens sometimes. And we are sat 12th in the league, which is all right to a certain degree with Blackburn Rovers. So yeah, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. I mean, I can't even remember how many likes you got in the last one, but it must have been something crazy. So yeah, for a new season, I, I am going to really push you guys in. And I'm, I'm going to see, um, see if we can get like 45 likes. I think the highest I've got is something like 42 on one of the recent ones. So yeah, 45 likes, guys. Can we get it? It. let's see if we can and thank you so much for watching see you later guys peace out